What's up, everybody? I'm Greg Olson, and today I'm going beyond the field. Sometimes we all need a departure from our normal routines. So I recruited Roderick Byers to help bring care to the community in a different way. What's up, man? How you doing? You ready? Let's do this. Come on, let's go. Last year, I surprised the Eastway Middle School football team at their end of the season banquet. This year, we're teaming up with our friends at Truist to create a day of wellness for the entire school, supporting mental, financial, and physical wellness. I am at Eastway Middle School here in Charlotte, and I'm just thrilled to have some time to spend with these teachers. Anybody interested in coffee and donuts? Absolutely. Teachers are an important pillar of our community. Great. Appreciate all you guys do. Aw, thank you. And students inspire me to set the best example. Good morning, everyone. It's a terrific Tuesday. We work together right here at Eastway in our caring school community. I'm very impressed. The messaging, the operation of the students that are making all of this work. You're doing an awesome job. Thank you for letting me come back to Eastway Middle. We're going to have a great day. What's up? <laughs> What's happening? We're about to have a really special program, Roderick and Colorful Seeds, the importance of mental health. Good afternoon, everyone. So I'm here, Greg is here, because we want to help you guys feel seen. We all have a monster. Your monster attacks you in the area of your greatest strength to prevent you from seeing your true power. Have any of you ever heard, I got a lot on my plate right now? I want you to take those plates that you see in front of you, and I want you to begin to write out the things that make you afraid things that are on your plate. Then I want you to take those things that you're thinking about and dump all of those things on your monster. Shrink that monster. Everything that you have on that plate, you can overcome it. All right, give yourselves a hand. That was great. That was great. I think one of the coolest things about today is the opportunity to introduce financial literacy to a lot of these middle school students. We want to get you thinking about how you can be smart with money. It's never too early to start your financial education. My friends at Truist believe that starting the conversation early can empower students with building blocks for the future. What do you guys think is better, paying it in full or just paying some of your bills? So number three is checking your own credit report has no impact on your score. What is a tool that you can use to help allocate your money into categories? What do you guys think? You need to power. Budget. <gasps> Who said it? Give her the ball. A budget, yes! Nice. <laughs> Good job. Good job. All right, hey, everybody line up. Who's line leader? Principal Deneen loves to get these students moving. Coach Lloyd and I are gonna have some fun with that. So proud of you guys. Break down, side, side. I'll do it if you do it. Yep, side. There you go. You guys are fast. Come on, you got it. Last year, I spent some time with the team after a tough season. Today, I got to see how their practice habits are translating to a more successful season. Go. Catch and score, right? Catch and score. How you do anything in your life is how you're gonna do it all. So do all the little things right, and I promise you the big stuff gets easy. Go. They've bought in because Coach Lloyd cares. How was school today? Good, great. And it's awesome to see the transformation. So practice those habits. Care is about checking in and returning. It's not just a one-time transaction. This is a safe space. This time, we went beyond the field, creating foundational habits to better the kids' future. Hard work on me, hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work! Good job. And we did it together. 